That was Domino. Domino's again? Rabbit dude, rabbit dude, rabbit dude, rabbit dude, rabbit dude. Let's play a game where we compare the sorry sack of crap life of rabbit dude with the sorry sack of crap life with Darius Truxton. Let's play that game and let's compare them to see how big of the losers the two pieces of trash are. Darius Truxton, huh? Hey, Queefy boy, you're chinless from one angle and you're double chin from another angle. You are some guy in your mid 40s that hasn't driven a car in your life and can't even afford a car. That's how much of a pathetic piece of trash you are. Rabbit dude, you're in your mid 30s and you haven't driven a car or a car or ever had a car, owned a car, insurance. No, you never done that either, rabbit dude. Why? Because you're a sorry sack of crap son that sits at home on your stupid little mattress there in the goddamn fetal position, wearing your dumb little pajamas 24 seven, right? And then you wait for your mommy to come upstairs and hand you over your dinner and your friggin' little breakfast palette sitting there talking to friggin' Dean TV who grooms you all friggin' day. Huh, rabbit dude, how does that one feel, idiot? You also, rabbit dude, have no job. You're in your mid, four, mid 30s and you have no job. What are you doing? You're just leeching. You're sitting there at home, leeching, leeching off your stepdad who freaking hates your guts because you're the sorry sack of crap stepson that he has now, leeching while your stepdad is freaking humping your mom, freaking Darius trucks and that piece of trash is laying in his goddamn mattress that smells like cat piss, okay? And then they have to get a freaking, you have to wait for that call Darius trucks from Apple One Agency to call you and tell you to get your sorry carcass out of the goddamn mattress so you can put on your stupid little freaking flood shorts, head on over to the most dirtiest freaking warehouse in East Hamilton downtown and clean the goddamn turd out of the urinal, prick. That's what you gotta do. But instead, rabbit dude just wants to sit home like the loser that he is, wait for someone in the friggin' Darius Trucks and Army rat community to go live so he can go in there and sniff out friggin' monitor wrenches. Hey, rabbit dude, how did it feel when you were friggin' moderating for Buckeye Bunny and then Buckeye Bunny got friggin' aware of your antics being a friggin' prick job on the Darius Trucks and Army side with Albert Menencuck, that homeless bum, you got that guy going on, prancing around the streets of Florida with his friggin' shirt off as a five foot two shrimp, chain smoking cigarettes he finds off the ground. Hey Albert, I would like to see you in the winter time in Toronto try to friggin' prance around the streets while the snow is hitting your friggin' bald headed, uh, hairy chest you prick what are you gonna do then what are you gonna do make an igloo in the friggin middle of the friggin highway 401 under the 401 and then live there you know you're not gonna do that because you can't all right you don't have a muscle in your body you got bent over for friggin cyan radio cell and the goddamn florida everglades while she was wearing a premium vest idiot and then rabbit dude some idiot who's clearly in the closet Rabbit dude, you might want to get some tips from Louis Pura. Louis Pura is some freaking cross-eyed turnip head. His head looks like Robocop with no helmet on, wearing freaking see-through mesh undershirts that he wears to the freaking in the closet club, giving BJs to men at the back of his apartment complex because he needs to pay rent while his mommy Estella is out there working the streets also paying rent. Hey, Lewis, I see that your mommy didn't fall asleep in time, so you couldn't come on the panel of the buttocks bunch. How does that one feel? Put down your stupid little butter knife and calm down, all right? Hey, Darius Truxton, how is it that you're just seething and raging every single day that I can friggin' come on friggin' YouTube and roast the hell out of you? Hey, Darius, you're the same loser that proposed to Ursha Gaming with Amiibo Toys and gave her 50 reasons why she should marry you. There is no way in hell a hot Norwegian chick is gonna marry some friggin' queefy boy, all right, high on coke, right, smells like cat piss, your apartment is a dirty, dingy, disgusting apartment with a stupid vent that you haven't cleaned in friggin' six years, Darius Truxton, hey, rabbit dude, you might want to get some tips from Darius Truxton, I know you're never gonna have a girlfriend, right, I know you're never gonna friggin' have any kind of intercourse unless it's with a guy and you're on the receiving end, rabbit dude, you might as well friggin' call Cyan raise us all over to friggin' your little, uh, uh, little house there where you live with mommy's house in your little room. <laughs> Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. You're friggin' dwelling in your room 24-7 with a goddamn pajamas on 24-7. You've done nothing in your life. You don't do groceries. You don't pay bills. You just sit at home and leech and eat your goddamn stupid food that your friggin' mom feels sorry for you and makes it for you, rabid dude idiot. You're, in 10 years, you're gonna turn into Darius Truxton. I guarantee it. 
Because you're not going to do anything with your life, rabbit dude. You're a short bus riding prick, all right, with a stupid little graphics arts degrees. Who knows if that's even real? Probably faking that one, too. And you did these two little stupid drawings that you put on the goddamn wall, and your mommy framed for you, and all of a sudden you think you're some sort of success story? You're not. You have no money. You have to ask your stepdad to freaking buy you a stupid Mario game on the freaking Switch or DS or whatever. And then you got Dean TV, who wipes butts all, 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 all butts for a living, sitting there, friggin' wiping butts at Arkham Asylum, going on friggin' Buttocks Bunch of Stream with nothing to do except bore up the channel. Oh yeah, by the way, did you like it when I stopped by there, King of All Buttocks? Yeah, it kind of inter it's nice, nice entertainment there for your stream, right? Say thank you, Slotham. Say thank you, Slotham. Hey, Albert, say thank you, Slotham. Yeah, I am your leader and I own your life, and the snakes have leverage over you, Albert. What are you gonna do about it? You got buried on YouTube. What happened to your two channels, Albert Menendez, huh? What happened? They got buried and terminated the same way freaking Dumpling King buried you and took a dump on your paycheck, you prick. Yeah, that's what I thought. And then he got this irrelevant cheetah man breathing through the mouth, adding nothing to the panel except sitting there with his stupid cheetah man avatar. Nice, nice. Glad you have him on panel. I can't wait to hear his thoughts on the friggin' drama. Idiot. Yeah, and rabbit dude, do something with your life. I know you cried 24 seven after you lost the friggin' wrench from Buckeye Bunny in the fetal position on your mattress with your stupid little laptop open. One of rabbit dude's biz bi biggest success stories was getting a new mattress. Yeah, cause where you dwell in 24 seven, you're gonna need that up to, up to shape, aren't you? You never even leave the house. Have you ever shoveled snow, rabbit dude? Are you strong enough to pick up the shovel and shovel the goddamn snow? No, you're not. You're a weakling and you're short as hell. You're short as friggin' Albert Manette as the five foot two shrimp you're both the same thing all right you might as well head on over to florida rabbit dude into uh rabbit uh albert menendez's blue tent in the everglades and freaking bend over for him too and then cyan will be there shortly you prick yeah darius trucks and some loser that never had a girlfriend in his life send unsolicited d pics to candace because queefy boy was staying at her place thought candace liked him and then uh, and instead of ring washing dishes at boston pizza darius trucks and would rather freaking hide around the pillar and stare at the server's black leggings but in terms of you rabbit dude you're hiding around the pillar and start staring at all the men that walk by in the goddamn restaurant because you're in the closet you're never gonna have a girlfriend you're never gonna procreate you're some loser that's sat at home asking your mommy to give you a goddamn haircut and you know what kind of haircut you got rabbit dude the stupid m m haircut that your daddy lover boy darius truxton also had it looks like you want to emulate darius truxton to a t well guess what you're in competition with james campbell some hobgoblin nose 400 pound fat estella wife marrying piece of trash that has a masculine haircut and who's 16 years older than him guess what james campbell's in first in line to bend over for darius then it's going to be dave c some openly racist this prick that freaking drinks alcohol beats his wife comes on youtube and then laughs about it and then you're third in line rabbit dude to bend over for darius because we all know you freaking cucked for darius truxton right you all know that you took darius truxton's side when i went against darius truxton why because you're always a cuck rabbit dude you're a loser you have nothing going on in your life you have no money you're so stupid and you're such a short bus rider that you can't even get hired for the position at walmart greeter because you can't even string along a sentence at freaking on a normal pace dummy queef elwood 2772 dominoes again i'm sorry robert cat piss smelling apartment yeah god you're so stupid and then you're sitting there talking to friggin' D uh, Dean TV who grooms you. He friggin' literally, because Dean TV's a failed father, right? Waved away his rights to his eight-year-old son. So now he needs someone new to replace that. And he found Rabbit Dude, a friggin' mid-30s-year-old man-child. Some piece of trash. Hey, Rabbit Dude, did you know that Darius Truxton, the loser that has no girlfriend and never will have a girlfriend, did you know that guy friggin' pranced around in Final Fantasy XI Online instead of actually going to friggin' West Ron Fair to friggin' beat up Jazzy Jackrabbit for that mantle, he's instead running around in Sandoria, Windhurst, and friggin' Bastok going around in circles looking for a goddamn girl to marry in Final Fantasy XI. Maybe you can do that too, Rabbit Dude. Maybe you, the sorry sack of crap that you are, that friggin' is weak as hell, has no friggin' meat on your body, you never exercise in your life, you're in your mid- you're pretty much the same age as me, and the difference between me and you, rabbit dude, is I'm way more successful than you.
All right, you a rabbit dude will never have a job. You will never have a car, and you'll never have a girlfriend. What girl wants to friggin' come to your friggin' disgusting room where you have stupid little drawings all around them? You have this dumb little teenage mutant ninja turtles picture on your back friggin' mattress, like the friggin' moron that you are. Grow up, rabbit dude. Go put some normal clothes, rabbit dude. Okay, I don't want you turning into Darius Trucks and some idiot who wears a double XL shirt that says "Property of the Game Chasers" on it, going to a goddamn game convention, sitting at the, sitting at the pat the nes panel and saying pick me pat pick me pat blue fight pat i want to play blue shut up darius trucks and you're a loser your mom hates your guts your dad hates your guts your sister hates your guts coach booge wants to beat you up your sister's kids don't even know you exist you have no friends you have no money you have no job you have no car you're too poor to pay for the goddamn insurance payments you're on welfare and you're on government assistance, soon to be rabid dude in 10 years. And there's nothing you can do about it except cry on the internet.